Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add Technopark games to either your original Kinhank drive, that's just the Hyperspin drive, or the new 5-in-1 drive. Now I just figured out how to get this working, so I'm just going to walk you through the process i done to get it to work. It is going to be a long video and very annoying at times, I apologise, because it is very annoying to work with Hyperspin. Let's be honest, it really, really is. So the first thing is to get your game. I'm not going to tell you where to get the game, but for me, I got... 3D cosplay Mojang. Because let's be honest, if I had a choice between GTA 6 right now or 3D cosplay Mojang, it's pretty obvious which game I'm picking. It's 3D cosplay Mojang. So I'm going to copy the game, right click, copy, and paste it in the appropriate folder. For the 5 and 1 people, that's the people with the newest drive, you're going to paste it in Core Type R, Collections, Computers, ROMs. Hyperspin Technopart, Collections, Technopart, ROMs. Paste it in there. For the people with the original drive, you just paste it in Arcade, Collections, Technopart, ROMs. Paste. The next thing I'm going to ask you to do is open up the folder of the game you just added and highlight this. So click this up here and you'll see it's gone all blue for me. So Control C. We're going to copy this link. We're going to need it later. So control C just for this location. It's where the game.exe is. And we're going to go back. And then we're going to click for people on the original 5 and 1. Or sorry, the original Hyperspin drive. Click the arcade icon up here. Or the name. The words, what I should be saying. Go to uh, emulators. Press T on your keyboard. And it'll show you Technopart. Open that up. Scroll down and open up Technopart UI. For the people on the 5 and 1, you're going to go and press Technopart, or sorry, Hyperspin Technopart. Click that. Go to Emulators, Technopart, scroll down and open up Technopart UI. I'm going to go back to the original just to show you. When I open it up, you see my game is here, but it won't be for you. What you need to do is press the hamburger icon. Click Add Game and scroll through the list and find the game you need to add. The ones that are blue are added and the ones that are black are not added. So as a prime example, let's say I want to add this game. Highlight it, just click on it, press Add Game. That's it. What you need to do now is tell Technopart where the game exactly is. So I'll click the hamburger icon again. Go to Library and your game should be here, but again, it doesn't know where it is. Go to game settings. For you, this information will be blank. Click on it. It's going to open up a random folder. For me, it's already opened up where it is. But remember the thing we copied earlier? Click this. Control V. It will paste in the location. Then click, there's an arrow here for you. Right here, there's going to be an arrow. Click the arrow. And it will open up the folder. Click the game.exe and press open. Don't double click it, just click it. And you'll see the name is filled in down here. See it says file name? Then press open. Untick this if you don't want it to be, uh, or if you don't, if you want it to be full screen, untick it. So it'll be like this at first. It'll be windowed when you launch the game. You don't want that, you want it to be full screen. So untick that, save settings. The next thing is your controls. So go to controller setup. So make sure your arcade or your your um your arcade stick or your controller at this stage is plugged in. If it doesn't uh, recognize it, just shut down Technopart and relaunch it with your controller plugged in or your arcade stick or even use your keyboard and just enter the corresponding. So if I want start to be enter, I click this, press enter on my keyboard, etc. Save settings, and that should be the game added. But it's not added to Hyperspin yet. That's where the annoying stuff is going to come now. <laughs> Let me just adjust myself for it. We're going to exit out now, okay? Yes, I'm sure. So the next now is adding it to Hyperspin itself. And that's, again, like I keep saying, is annoying. So we're going to go back, and we're going to go back to the ROMs folder. So I'm sure you know where it is at this stage. You were just there a second ago. If not, Control v where you were. Press Enter. And go back one, ROMs. One thing I've noticed is the naming of the folders were very strange. Prime example, what is BB 
CF. That's a strange name for a game. If I enter it, it's just a patch file because the game isn't there. But I thought it was strange. Notice all the aliens, uh, even extermination. There's no spaces between the, the, the name of the folder. So how do I find out the correct name for every single folder? Keep going down. Castlevania. Interesting. Just a patch. But what I decided to do is you're going to open up Rocket Launcher UI right now. So to find it on the original, you go to click Arcade. Scroll down, you'll see the folder Rocket Launcher. Scroll down, Rocket Launcher UI, and open that up. On the 5-in-1, you're going to click Hyperspin Technopart. Scroll down, there it is. You see it right there, Rocket Launcher. Open that up. Open up Rocket Launcher UI, the folder, and then run the program. So I'm going to do that right now on the original. Run the program. Once you've it open, up here's what system are we searching for? Well, it's going to be Techno Parrot. There you go. Came up straight away. Click it. And I'm going to highlight the games. For you, it might be on a different option. Click the games option. Click the blue button. And as you can see, it's found the game already, but because I've added it, for you, it might be still red. It might be like this. But this is where I found the information for the naming of the folders. Notice again. BBCF, we were looking at that earlier. BBCF is Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Interesting, I thought. But notice my Mojan. No spaces, spaces. Aliens uh, extermination, no spaces, but the description is spaces. Interesting, okay? So that's how you get the name of your folder. So your folder should be what's right here in the name section. See it? Name? That's the name of your folder. That's what your folder should be called. If you go to the emulator, click that, it's looking for a text file, which I found again very interesting. If I go back to the ROMs folder, I'm sure at this stage you know where it is, but don't worry, we still have it copied. Control V. Enter. Go back one. There it is. If you scroll down the bottom, all the way down to the very bottom, there's all my text files. If I scroll up, keep scrolling up, notice we found, oh no, sorry, not the ones with the line, there's a few of them there. The ones without. There it is. Shri Aliens Extermination. Notice again, no spaces. Open it up. Aliens Space Extermination. Exactly as it is here. So the name of the file is the one without the space, but inside the file, it is the one with the space. And notice the spelling, the capitalizations. Capital A for aliens, capital E for extermination. So I did the exact same thing with 3D Mao, cosplay Mao Zhang. I right clicked, add new text file. The name of the text file was exactly as shown. And inside, I named it as exactly as shown in the description section. So you have to do that now for every single game that you add. It must be identical to what you see here. So the name of the file must be as in the name section. The description, the information inside has to be exactly as this right here. So that's one part done, okay? Trust me, it's, well, it's a few parts, we're a few parts in, but in terms of the naming and typing information, that's this, okay? So now we've added our text file. So we've added our game. We've told Technopart where it is. We've done the buttons, okay? We've made the text file. We've made sure the information is correct. The next thing is to tell Technopart where the logos are. Or sorry, we need to show where the logos are. Or make sure the logos are correct. I, I'm sorry. So anyway, you go back to Technopart, click back one, and go to logo. Now for me, I got the logo online. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. I think it's already in the originals, but it's not in the newer one. Make sure 
the logo is spelt exactly the same as we see here. Notice, AAA is America's, uh, uh, sorry, America's Army Arcade. There it is right there, AAA. It has to be exactly the same. So I made it 3D cosplay Maojong, no spaces. Alien Extermination, very, very similar. So the naming is really key when it comes to hyperspin. Notice, remember we're talking about BBCF? That's this game. Blaze Blue, was it? BBCF? Blaze Blue Central Fiction. So that file has to be exactly named the same in order for it to be, in order for the logo to appear in the menu. Now I didn't add a video. You can if you find it online. So if I go to Snap, I don't have the 3D Mojang video, but again, you add it in here in the snap section for the video. So, you know, when you're scrolling through the menu, the video plays, make sure it's spelled the same. The next thing we're going to have to do is go back out, go back, go back. We're going to have to add it to the list in Hyperspin. We've added a new game. We need to tell Hyperspin that we've just added a game. So I'm going to click the arcade uh, option here. Scroll down and click ROM lists. Press T on the keyboard for me, because this is on the original. Scroll down till you come to Technopart. Open that up. Now, as you can see, I added the line. For people on the 5 and one you're going to click Hyperspin Technopart, ROM lists, and it's going to be shorter list. Open up Technopart. And I added this line. Now, you're going to ask, oh, how do I get all that information? I'm going to be honest. I just copied the line underneath. Notice, 2007 Sega Gun. That's all I did. And again, the naming. The first line is non-spaced. Leave this here. The next line is the spaced. Leave all the rest of the information there. Save your file. Again, look, ABC, after burning, triple A. Notice the, the kind of we're kind of getting to the point where it's very much the same as we walk through it. So AAA again is Army's, or sorry, America's Army Arcade. Exactly like here. I don't want to be talking down to you like you're stupid, but I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. So that's another thing we've done. Press save. We've now added it to the list inside, but we're not finished because the game is still not going to load for us. At this point, no, it's actually going to be in the menu but it's not going to load for you. Another thing you're going to need to do is if you right-click the game you've added and you go to uh, Rocket Launcher Media, go to Fade, open that up. Now, I've added this in, but for you, it's going to be blank at this stage. It's possibly going to be blank. The folder mightn't even exist, but it should. It should at this stage. It should. If it hasn't, click this, Audit, and it might come up green this time. If I go to the one that isn't added, yeah, it's not good. You can say create. If it doesn't exist, press create. Okay? So I've created the folder of the fade. If I go back out one, it's going to show you it has all these options. A, B, C. There it is. Look, it has this when I load the game. If I go to AAA, where was that? I don't think it, oh, because we don't have it. If I go to Batman, there it is. Look, it has a little logo for when it's loading so if you want a stock one scroll down the bottom there it is it has a stock one here on the original drive copy that paste it in the folder so when the game loads in this section right here it's going to say no loading so paste that in here so when the game goes to load it'll say no loading i'm sorry we're still not done look how we're 14 minutes in here it's crazy 14 minutes in and counting just to get one game working on hyperspin within techno part so now we've all that information done the next thing is go back to your folder <clears throat> i'm losing my voice and all go back to your folder so i'm going to go back to the original i'm going to go to arcade i'm going to go to rocket launcher and i'm going to open up modules i'm going to scroll all the way down till i find pc launcher Open that up. On the 5 and one you're going to click Hyperspin Technopart. You're going to open up Rocket Launcher. 
you're going to open up nodules, press P on your keyboard, PC launcher. Same folder, look. Game scripts, game scripts, top file. Again, I'm going to go back to the original just to show because I that's where I entered my stuff. Scroll down to the find technoparrot.ini. Open that up. You should open up with your text with um. If it doesn't open, it should open with Notepad++. Always get that program. It's what I use right here. So open that up. And there's a lot of information here, okay? Scroll down, and I added this. Notice, it's asking for where the game is. This is where every single game is. So like I did before, I copied this information, pasted it above, and I made sure to fill out the information as per the game. No spaces, 3D cosplay Mojang was replaced. So I replaced too spicy and I put in 3D cosplay Mojang. In this, this section here, profile equals parameters, it said too spicy. I just replaced it with the same thing I pasted up here, 3D cosplay Mojang. And I saved. At this point, I believe the game is now ready to launch. So we're now in Hyperspin. As you can see, we're going to open up Techno Parrot. There is the game, 3D Cosplay Mahjong. Uh, the information, as you can see, is kind of incorrect. Remember, I copied it 2007 in Sega. But if I press Enter here, it's going to load. Now, if there's any, you know, because it's cosplay stuff, I'll have to blur the screen and probably mute the volume. But when I press enter here, it's going to work. If it doesn't work, it's probably because the game isn't really made for full screen or not correct, uh, or not running correctly in full screen. So go back to where you added the game and untick the box, to, or tick the box to make it windowed. So we're going to press enter here. The game is going to go to now loading. That's the screen we added earlier. And I'll give it a second or two. But you'll notice in the background, if I press alt tab, you'll notice, look, Everything is running there. As you can see, look, game running, information on Technopart there on the left is happening, and the game will pop up any minute now. There it is. 3D cosplay in Mojang. That's it running. Obviously, again, I don't have it full screen. I have it windowed. And at this stage, I'm probably going to blur. That is how you add a game to Technopart on your Hyperspin drive and your 5-in-1 Kinhank drive. They're both Kinhank drives, but, you know, the original Hyperspin and the 5-in-1. Hope you enjoyed the video, and like I always say, have a lovely, lovely day, and thanks for watching.